guys today it is a rainy day here in the mountains of Appalachia the Blue Ridge Mountains <sighs> rainy chilly spring morning it's 44 degrees is what my little thermometer tells me so anyway I wanted to jump on really quick and tell you guys about a dream I had this morning and I'm driving so I'm not going to look directly at the camera all the time um so I've been praying for the Lord to give me more clarity on the dream but I know I had a hard time waking up from it and so usually when that happens it's pretty important George was waking me up, so I had to wake up. Uh, okay, so I, I remember being on a, like a, maybe like the Appalachian Trail. It was like a walking trail out in the woods. And it seemed to be quite busy. There was a lot of people on it ahead of me and behind me. And I was walking... I don't know who I was walking with. I guess it was a friend. I, I don't know who it was in real life. It wasn't, um, oh, there's something on my phone. I thought I had something on my face, but it was on my phone. So, um, I don't know who it was. I feel like it was another another lady and maybe my daughter was with us and it started out that we were walking and it was the evening it wasn't quite dark yet and um, the sun was setting and we got as far down as we wanted to go on the path and we were going to turn around and head back because it was going to be dark soon. And on the way back, people started running past us saying, they're coming, they're coming. You better run because they're killing us. So I'm like, what, in the, what is going on? And um, a people just kept coming and saying that and I was trying to get more information like who's coming who's who's trying to kill us and we passed it looked like a cabin down over the bank of the trail and I'm like well let, there's no way we're gonna outrun them because I, I was having a hard time moving fast I don't know what was sometimes in my dreams I have a hard time it's like I feel like all my energy has been taken from me and it's like I'm walking through mud. It's so hard to get further, especially when I am scared. And that just triggered a memory in my head of a dream I had a couple mornings ago that I need to tell you all about. But um, we, So we went down into that cabin and I was trying to find like weapons to so that we could protect ourselves and the only thing I could find was um, like a plant a planting shovel like if you're doing gardening those little like spade shovels they're about I don't know like that big I only found a couple of those and I remember handing one off to the other lady that was with me. And we were hiding in the house. And then these things came into the house. But they weren't human. Um, they were like monsters. And they were looking for us. And they were going to kill us. And it was terrifying. And then I remember the sky just going blood red. I could see it outside of a window. It was 
it was so frightening. It was terrifying. <laughs> People walking by. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> so, um, that was, it was just terrifying. And I don't remember killing them or, or anything. I feel like throughout the day, God's going to give me more memory of the dream, I hope. And, like, just now, I just remembered a dream that I had. So, I mean, it can trigger any time that I can remember something. So, if I remember anything more about that, I'll come back to you. But I want to share this little snippet real quick. Um, so... In the dream I had the other day, we were in a city. Oh, I wouldn't say it was a city. It was like a town. We were in a town. And there was stuff going on in the sky. And, like, there was planes falling out of the sky. And there was different colors in the sky. And it was almost like um, big robot things were coming through this this town and stepping on cars and stuff almost like a Godzilla or a Transformers type of movie it was like that and um, I remember being terrified and I was trying to run and I couldn't run I couldn't get away fast enough and I remember these two men I was with the a group of people, but I remember these two men picking me up, um, picking, like, putting their arms through my arms, and they, they lifted me up off the ground, and it's almost like we floated really, really fast to the countryside. Like, they, they removed me from that situation by lifting me up and, like, running. But it was almost like we were floating. And we ended up in the countryside in, like, a big meadow. And there was other people there, too. And I was telling George about this dream. And, and in my dream, I didn't think that they were angels but as I was telling him about the dream and when I finished he said could they have been angels and I'm like wow I didn't think that in the dream but while I was telling you it popped into my head that they, they were angels it was weird <laughs> so um take that however you want to take it but I've been telling people, like loved ones and friends, and that if we start seeing fire coming from the sky, balls of fire, um, like chunks of asteroid or meteorites, and they're causing massive fires, Mike from the realm. Mike from around the world was talking about that on Friday. No, Thursday night, but I didn't listen to it until Friday. And also, I had been getting visions of that. Um, so, I've been telling my loved ones and my friends that if you start seeing that by the end of the month or the beginning of May, then to message me or let me know that you remember me telling you about this and I'll give you more information. Um, Cause I don't want to put stuff out there like that and then it, you know, nothing happens. But I have it really strong on my heart right now that something like that is about to occur. Really, really strong. Something from the atmosphere is about to cause a lot of issues and I don't know if it's going to be the fallen angels or like their spaceships or space 
the braid. Um, only Almighty knows. So pray for guidance and wisdom. And yeah. people just see me talking to myself. It's so weird. <laughs> uh, also, I have been having a couple of visions of like open visions of doors appearing. Like one day I was out in my driveway like doing yard work and I just had this vision come over me of a doorway appearing in my driveway and the Lord told me, he said that the door's about to open and we are going to walk through the door. So I don't know, maybe the rapture will be a door appearing. I just keep getting this door. I don't know how it's going to happen. I just know when it happens, it's going to blow your mind. Like, your mind has to be mentally prepared for the impossible to happen and don't forget that the devil is at about his work at the same time so you need to make sure that you're spiritually in line with the word of God and that you are not deceived into walking through the wrong door because the devil is a liar and a thief and he loves to steal what the Lord has in purpose for good he will turn into evil so just be in prayer always for discernment against the evil one against the spiritual wickedness that rules this earth times will never go back to what we had before. There is a new world order that is making its appearance. It's it's been in preparation for many, many years. And now everything is ready for it to be up and running. Okay? The collective consciousness of the beast system is up and running right now. That's why we were having all those mass shootings. And we had one last night. In, well, we didn't here in the U.S. But in Canada, there was a mass shooting. There hasn't been a mass shooting in months. Months. Because they were gearing up for this for this COVID stuff that's happening. And I believe that it's really happening. There is a sickness, but I don't think it's what we think it is. Be very weary of the vaccine. <clears throat> I haven't had the Lord specifically tell me not to take the vaccine, but I don't want to take the vaccine. And I, I don't know. I need to pray on it more. Like, I, for me, I'm an essential worker. And I know that if I don't take that vaccine, I won't be able to work. Which, fine. Whatever. I don't care, really. <laughs> but, um... We, uh... We need to pray on that. Okay, guys. Uh, I gotta go. Um, I'm at the grocery, or not the grocery store. I'm at the little gas station. And I gotta get back home. I love you guys. Take care. Ephesians 6. Armor on always. Okay? I love you. God bless.